Well, it's about 12.20 in the afternoon and that's where the sun is, behind the giant gum tree. Our backyard is unfortunately full of trees, so and the front yard, which is good in summer to provide some protection, but in winter it's quite annoying. So it's hard to find a spot to grow vegetables. This is one spot we've chosen which gets a bit in the afternoon. This is a horseradish. Don't know much about them, I know you eat the root. Um, it's growing quite well and it would probably be four times the size if the caterpillars stopped eating it. So I come out here every day and pick them off. And in this bit here we've got a couple of potatoes so that I'll just stick them in there. I don't know if they're going to get enough sun or not but we'll give it a crack. Um, marjoram here in the corner. That's from summer. That's still going. Over here. These are looking good. This is turnip. Um, have used some alpaca poo tea on these ones since they were put in as seeds and they've absolutely taken off. It's great. They're very lush and green. Um, but they're probably a bit crowded in here. A bit few too many amongst each other. We'll see how they go. Never grown them before. A few holes in the leaves. I come out here on my caterpillar run every day as well. Try and find them. Uh, a bit of lemon thyme here on the edge. Mm, nice. Um, some swedes. I laid these seeds the same as I did the turnips. But for some reason, only a half a dozen have come up. So I don't know what happened there. Maybe they got washed away. Um, next to them we've got broad beans, which are coming along quite well. These also have all had the um, alpaca tea and they're a bit thin in the middle so I've um, stuck in a few extra seeds now get a like a second crop coming and um, I'll have to tie them up soon they start to get a bit bendy um, and then in the other yard which is actually the proper veggie patch where we started We have what's left of a um, summer zucchini. Got, a, got one here, a courgette, as some people call them. There's another one there. They're still kind of going. Plenty of little baby ones, but they don't seem to take. In here we've got potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Just whack them in, see what happens. Some garlic in that hole. Can't really see them. Um, along the fence we have white onions and the row in front of that we have red onions and they're growing alright. They've also had the alpaca poo on them. Everything seems to like that. I grew onions last year, they went alright. My asparagus cage. I had heaps of stalks coming up and then I come out one morning and all the tips were gone. Someone had a feast. And we've got um, cauliflower. These ones probably get the most sun. In between that gum tree and that tall tree probably gets about maybe five to six hours a day. So there's a few of them that are going up. This is an onion from last year that I forgot to pull out obviously, it was hiding and it's still in there. The patch is empty at the moment but we're planned for that. Um, these ones here are Brussels sprouts. Uh, we love Brussels sprouts, never grown them before. Again this kind of, these ones up this end get more sun than these ones so it'll be interesting to see, you can already see the difference in height. These ones here are quite tall, 
and these ones here are kind of short and squat so the sun must make a difference and as we go back messy yarn this is the garden bed that we've constructed that we're going to fill soon we were going to have three of them along here just to fill this patch because nothing grows properly these are all weeds that you can see here that makes it look green so there's going to be another two poles at this end when I get around to it and we'll layer it with straw pack a poo bit of uh, compost or soil from the garden centre and um, yeah, in summer it will be great give us all that much more room to grow stuff but at the moment probably only this bit here gets some so uh, I'm not just just not enthused at the moment be good with the post because we can string wires between them grow pre peas up it in summer we can attach some shade cloth to give it protection from the heat and in winter we can even put some plastic over it so I think it will work as a, a triple whammy yard is looking a bit shabby at the moment centre garden we've got a few miscellaneous mystery bulbs popping up I think these are jonquils I think they're either iris or gladioli we've got some black lilies in the middle there they're awesome love them and just geranium and lots of dog poo which is great thanks dog so plenty to keep me busy in my lunch breaks oh, here's a kitten kittens in their house it's raining today so they wanted to come out but they run away if I don't keep them inside hi Howie hi Harry They want to get out and go for a run, but he will jump over the fence, that six foot fence over there. He jumped it in an instant and then he's off. Can't trust him. So while it's raining, they just stay in here for a little while. Lay up here on their bed and enjoy some sort of what sun comes through past the gum tree. And that's our garden. I'm learning. It's uh, a bit confusing, plenty to think about. Never get bored, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, see ya.